Let's talk about the Wii U in 2019. Welcome back to another video from yours truly, Levon Case, and today I'm going to be discussing the Wii U in 2019. So let's begin. Ah, yes, the Wii U. I remember the Wii U when it was announced in E3 2011, and just the idea, you know, playing games on a gamepad controller, that sold me on the Wii U right away like that. I was excited. You know, HD Nintendo system, playing games on the gamepad, which means I could play games on the toilet. The announcement was an amazing. Just freaking amazing. But one of the problems right out the gate for the Wii U is that they showed a lot of the gamepad controller. And they didn't really show much of... This right here, this console right here. In fact, a lot of people thought that this, you know, the Wii U gamepad was the actual system itself. But that was not the freaking case. In fact, it was this thing right here. It had, it had its own, you know, home unit. This right here. So, yeah... When the reveal happened, all that stuff, it was mixed. You know, people were excited for the Wii U, but then there was also people, you know, that kind of didn't really care for the Wii U and all that stuff. And, it, and people were saying that, eh, it's not really much better than the PS3 and the 360. In fact, there were people out there saying that the Wii U is a stopgap system between the PS3 and the PS4, and the Xbox 360, and the Xbox One. And I I agree with that statement because the Wii U, yes, it was more powerful than the PS3 and 360. The Wii U had two gigs of RAM. The Wii U had a more powerful GPU. But what held it back was its CPU. Which is why a lot of, you know, third-party ports underperformed on the Wii U. And also, one of the reasons why the Wii U didn't really sell all that well was the lack of marketing. And if there was any marketing, it was just, you know, not really all that freaking good. And also, too, as far as third-party support, you know, one of the big things about the Wii U that it was supposed to have a lot of third-party support. In fact, I heard a lot of people saying that the Wii U was supposed to have the definitive version of all your favorite games. And we all know how that turned out. You know, the first year of the Wii U had decent amount of third-party support. You know, the second year... You know, that's when things kind of start dwindling down, and at the third year, it was just, you know, Lego games and indie games. And that was the other support besides Nintendo first-party games at that point. From late 2014, from then on, it was just that. And also, to the Wii U used a power PC architecture, while the PS4 and Xbox One use an x86 architecture you know a lot of people were wondering was the wii u a next generation system was it a last generation system was it in between gen system and i felt like it was an in between gen system to be honest with you guys you know but that's just me it was better than ps3 and 360 but not as good as PS4 and Xbox One. It's, and the same thing can be said about the Nintendo Switch. It's decently better than the PS3 and 360, but not as good as the PS4 and Xbox One. All right, so now I'm going to be talking about some of the games that I own for the Wii U. First party and third party games. And the first game is... Super Mario 3D World, you know, for first 3D HD Mario game, it was pretty good. You know, graphically, it looked good on the Wii U. And 
I need to get back into beating this game. I hope it gets ported on the Nintendo Switch. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 on the Wii U. Now, this was one of the last Wii U multi-platform games to come on the system. For what I played of this game, it's alright. It's okay. It's not anything special. And this game is also on the PS4, Xbox One, PS3, and Xbox 360. The Wonderful 101. I haven't really played much of this game, so I can't really say a lot about this game. So, And a lot of people want this game on the Nintendo Switch. So I hope they port it on the Nintendo Switch. I really hope they do. Platinum Games, do it. Port it on the Nintendo Switch. Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker. Um, for what I played in this game, it's it's okay. It's not amazing. It's not great. It's not horrible. It's just okay. If you like these type of games, then this game is for you. And what I mean by those type of games, I mean puzzle games. So, yeah, it's okay. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. This game is on the Nintendo Switch as well as Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. And for what I played in this game, it was pretty good. It's, it wasn't bad, it was pretty good. I need to get back into playing this game. Alright, next game. Watch Dogs. This was supposed to be one of those games to showcase that the Wii U can keep up with the PS4 and Xbox One, but that was not the case. In fact, you know, when I saw the Digital Foundry analysis, it actually underperformed below the PS3 version. Isn't that sad, people? Isn't that sad? That was a failed opportunity. Nothing more, nothing less. Alright, so next game. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U. You know, for the first HD Smash Bros. game, it was very fun. Very, very fun. It's Smash Bros. It's a party fighting game. You know, it's not really, you know, a hardcore fighter or anything like that. It's just a party game, and for what it is, it was very, very fun. Batman Arkham Origins. I need to get back into playing the Arkham games, but for what I played of this one, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It was okay. Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform. Before Mario Kart 8 came out, there, there was this game. And, oh boy, it was a fun game. And graphically, I say it looks on par with Mario Kart 8. You know, you guys can debate that which one looks the better game. Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform or Mario Kart 8. You guys decide in the comment section below, but Ninja Guy in 3 Razor's Edge, you know, for what I played this game, it was very, very fun. Very, very fun. I haven't beaten this game, but eh, I think you guys I think you guys should try this game out. If you if any of you guys pick up a Wii U. Now let's get to the conclusion and the verdict. Should you buy a Wii U in 2019? And I say yes because you can put homebrew on the Wii U through the virtual Wii and the Wii U OS. And Wii U with homebrew is pretty good. It's pretty fun. You can make it to where you can allow it to use any USB controller, a DualShock 4 controller, you know, an Xbox One controller, any other USB PC gamepad controller. 
Also, you can play Nintendo 64 games, PlayStation 1 games, Sega Genesis games, Sega Master System games, all other types of games, you know, from the past, even Atari games. You can play Atari games on the Wii U. So, and also too, it allows for MP3 playback. That was my Wii U discussion. What were your guys' thoughts on the Wii U? Did you guys own the Wii U? If so, were you, what were your thoughts on the system? Let me know in the comment section below of this video. See you guys later, and please rate, comment, and subscribe.